and we're now going to start the long tack back out of the River Yell. This could take a little while. Now the long tack back out. Got to keep an eye on the echo sounder and tack when appropriate. Now I couldn't sail out against the current. There is just no way, not enough room in here. So the tacks just got shallower and shallower and with the lack of space in here, the smart move having the uh, engine going. So I've had to use the engine to get out uh, because I suddenly was heading towards something very expensive. And it's uh, now starting to rain. So thankfully I've got a decent jacket on and uh, hopefully we'll only be in this for about half an hour or so. Uh, the river as well as the rain. There are some quite big gusts that are coming up this river. There's no way I think I'd be able to tack in the rest of this. So probably my last ever visit to the Yell, certainly in my own boat. Very nearly back outside uh, the Yell. Looking at my speed uh, across the ground, I think this current is still coming in, which is probably also why I couldn't tack further up the river. It's looking quite windy uh, out there. I'm glad I've got the reef in. So now outside the uh, River Yelm and the noisemaker has been switched off and it's about half an hour after high water and we're now getting wind against tide I imagine. Now I'm outside the River Yelm, have a look at the weather from Rain Head, which has just been updated. Oh, the high got up to 24. So the wind speed at the moment is around about 10 knots, which is what I'm seeing out here. And the high gusts are only 18. I'm actually contemplating shaking the reef out again. Shaking the reef out again. And we're back up to four knots bottom speed. Looks like the wind dropped quite a bit uh, against forecast. So hence the um, back in with the full rig. I've lost all bottom speed. Not the best place to uh, lose steerage. Um, oh, here we go. We've managed to coast through into a gust. And now we've got the wind back. Superb. Echo sound is only showing me 4.7. There we go, we're definitely back in the wind now. Echo sound is starting to get deeper, a lot happier. Right, shoot across to the western entrance. See what's going on over there. Now, I've never known a day like it. Um, at the moment, my bottom speed's round about five knots and I'm leaning over quite a bit. So, looks like I'm going to have to put the reef back in. That'll be the fifth change of the day. So it's been quite an interesting day so far. Started off with a reef, shook it out to get some more speed, put a reef back in to go up the yell. And then just as I came out of the yell, I've taken the reef out of it. And now it's looking like I'm going to have to put the reef back in again. Plenty of practice for that. And yet again, we've put the reef back in. A tiring day so far. So last bit of the day I was supposed to meet up with some friends and video the 
the boat as they went past. Unfortunately, I had a, an issue with the rudder and uh, now they're just accelerating away from me. Starboard jib sheet's all twisted up, so the bloody jib won't set properly. And I'm not prepared to stop and try and sort it out <laughs> while we're this close to the breakwater on a falling tide with a westerly wind.